Hey Aqua Buddies, what's up? How's everything? How are you? How are your plant and fish? My plants are doing great today. And you know that if you have a, such a huge planted tank, then you need liquid fertilizer for your plants. So guys, today we are going to discuss about the liquid fertilizers. And today I have got a new parcel and you know that I am using CSM plus B that is Plantex CSM micronutrients for the planted tanks and today I am gonna give you a review about it and I will tell you that how it is working and I will also tell you that how to calculate the amount of CSM for making the liquid fertilizer for your plants and I will give you a review of this product and I will share the experience because I am using it for about one year and I have got very good results and I will tell you that what is the difference when I started using this so we are going to discuss everything in this video so guys stay tuned and we are going to start the video so here is the parcel which I got from my friend and I didn't buy from the website but you can buy it from the website directly and I will share the link of the website from where you can buy it and here I am going to unbox it and I show you what I have got inside and I need to remove the tapes as well. So here we have got the micro fertilizer and you can see that we have got it in quite good packing and select salts and this is basically in the powder form and we need to convert it into liquid fertilizer so in this video i'm gonna give you a review of this product basically it's from the nyclog g aquatics and it is american based lab which make the product for their plants and the name is select salts and proper name is plantex csm plus b C csm plus b are the micronutrients and it says that it provides the micronutrients which are necessary for plants and here is the granted analysis which you can see magnesium copper iron molybdenum boron manganese zinc and edta these all micronutrients are present inside it and you can dose to your plants accordingly and here you can check out the percentage of the different micronutrients and guys you know that micronutrients are required in very smaller quantity as compared to the macronutrients that's why they have got very low percentage and according to the dosing instruction you just need 1 by 16 of the tablespoon into 10 gallons to reach the required percentage of the micronutrients so guys now we are gonna open it up and we'll see that how does it look like and first of all we have to cut it and there is a seal beneath for preventing it from the environmental effects so here we go and now we are going to open the seal it has got a zip and we have to open it up so here you can see the texture it has got the brownish yellow color and it has got some white particles as well so basically in the powder form and we are going to convert it into the liquid fertilizers and now i'm going to tell you that how can we calculate the amount it so guys now we are going to calculate the amount of CSM for making the DIY fertilizers here we have nutrient calculator I will share the link in the description and I will show you how to use it and first of all you have to select your aquarium size I have 120 gallons and type of fertilizers DIY and next we are going to select the compound Plantex CSM plus B and we are going to make a solution so we have selected it and amount we have 500 and dosing amount 20 ml and next you have to click on the calculate then you will get the grammage and we have got 34.78 grams and in the bracket you have amount in the form of tablespoon and teaspoon so we have to use it and you can see that we have got the amount in the ppm per degree of the all micronutrients so in this way you can calculate the amount for making the diy fertilizers and now we are going so guys here we have got the stuff for making the liquid fertilizers and here we have got the 
plant tax csm and now we are going to take the amount which we calculated from the dosing calculator and i will take the amount in the form of teaspoon you can measure it with a scale as well but we are going to take it in the form of teaspoons so here we are going to take the required amount Okay, now we have done it and don't forget to close it tightly so now we have got the required amount here and now you can see we have got the distilled water and it is necessary you can use distilled or RO water for making and here we have got the 5 ml ml capacity bottle and we are going to put the salt inside and we are going to use this funnel So here we go. Okay guys now we have prepared the micronutrients fertilizer and now we are going to dose into the tank and we have to dose 20 ml according to our calculations and dose at different parts of the tank so that it may equally distribute and i am using it for the very long time and i have got very good results so i would also recommend you guys okay guys thank you for